it's the last episode with Real Betis. We have such an outside chance at winning the league that if we don't match Barcelona's results, we're done. Barcelona just need to win one game. What's up guys, Kerry from KJB back again with another episode of the European Tour. I hope I find you well. And today, after winning the Cup 2-0 against Barca, we're looking to try and beat them in the league. But it's such a slim margin, I don't really see it happening. We beat Athletic Club and Valladolid off camera. Today we're playing Sevilla, Atletico Madrid and Ibar to end the season. We desperately need three wins from three in today's episode. If that don't happen, we don't have a chance at winning the league. Barcelona have got to lose at least two of them. Starting out of a free kick, Fernandez just about does that. Williams, ball over. Martin in the box. That was a shot. Sevilla have a corner. Be oh my god, Bayendir did not commit to that. Now we're on a counter attack as well. We just don't want to get caught out here. Salazar, brilliant slide tackle. Nico Williams to Martin. Martin, dink that one back over. Nico Williams on the run now. Takes the touch. Can he fly, fire it in? Rafa Mir, come on. That's exactly what we needed. A big header from the big striker. Puts us in front. Perfect opportunity to double up. Rafa Mir from the spot. Gets it perfect. Going top left. Happens. It happens every time. That corner is gold dust. 2-0. They've got a penalty of their own though. Can they half a deficit? He's going bottom right now. Good, good penalty to be fair. But that is the game. We come out 2-1 victors in this one. That's a perfect start. Let's see what the other results were. So Barcelona beat Ibar 3-2. It's, it's so tight for us. Barcelona have to lose both games. And we've got to get a massive goal difference swing. I don't see it happening. Even second place. If we beat Atletico, we've still got a better their result. Or if they draw, we've got to win on the last day. We're going to try. And that's all we can do. The good thing for us, they are a little bit tired. So hopefully we can take advantage of that. But I remember last time I played Atletico. Did not go well at all. Great interception by Tadebo, early doors, just what we need is a very early goal just to set us up on the right foot. Rafa has got that one, can't get it to bust us. Good tackle, Bravo. Fernandez up to Martin, there to bust us. Back to Fernandez again, we just need to control this ball. Bust us on it, back to Bravo, gives it away. That's not how we control the ball. Tadebo wins that. Possession, absolutely key for this one. Just take our time, take our chance. We've got to win this. And the best way by winning, by not conceding. Oh, Salazar jumped in. Now Mo Kamara, not quite Maddy Kamara, is there for them. Play it to Jao Felix. Back in the box. I don't know if he caught it. I don't know if he punched it. Bayendi has made the save and that's all that matters. Salazar against Mo Kamara here. Plays it down the wing. Good block by Salazar. What can we do on this one? Odegaard's ball is easy for Bayendi. Looking to counter from their corner. Rafa Mir. No. Why am I playing it straight down the middle? Good tackle Meyer. Nico Williams. He's got a bit of pace and he can show that now. Gets past one, gets past two. Nico Williams is on a bit of a run. Just hits it with his left into the top corner. What a goal. It was questioned when he was signed. Is he worth 127 million? If that goal puts us in a very good place to win the league, of course he is. He... Oh, what a goal. I d I've not got words. That is incredible. It's exactly what we needed as well. Just being put in the driver's seat for this one. Salazar's got someone in behind him. Williams is there. And he's got past Mo Kamara as well. Goes for the 1-2. Doesn't get it back. That was not good. Darwin Nunes. Goal. Straight away they're back in it. It's poor from Salazar. 
Darwin Nunes has way too much space and of course he's not missing from there. This is better. Bustos on this one. Goes for the run with Williams. Knight just goes on the floor again. Williams. Bustos. Back to Fernandez. Rafamir. Has a little bit of space. Not going to shoot. Bustos has some. Shoots from there. What a goal. The amount of times I've seen him absolutely spoon a shot. He's been due a goal and what a time to score it. That is really, really good. I'm so happy that he's got his goal. He's a really good strike. Probably Old Black should be doing better. But he's managed to find the back of a net. I'm not complaining. 2-1. Two, two, Jason Fernandez. Rafa Mir's made a run, touches it, Pau Torres, the now Aston Villa man, which is quite strange, puts the tackle in. Here's Gabriel Martinelli for Atletico, plays it into Odegaard. Can we put a body in the way? No Kamara, doesn't do it, Darwin Nunes is there, what a tackle by Maya. that should see this half through. It does, 2-1, we're up at the break. Currently... Barcelona are drawing 0-0 with Levante, which still means we can't win the league. They've got to lose both. I'm really hoping for a Levante miracle come the end of this game. All we can do is concentrate on us, though. If we can put ourselves in a good position, then we, we, all we that's all we can do. We can ask for a question. Martinelli on that. Tadebo blocks it. Go on, head that. Good header. Bustos is on this one. He's just running. He's got past Martinelli, but Mo Kamara has made it back. Rafamir tackles. Fernandez on the ball. Goes back to Rafamir. Are we going to get a second goal? Bustos goes out to Williams. Back inside. Martin tried to overwork it. Good header. Fernandez now on this one. Rafamir. Plays a lovely little back heel to Bustos. He's fighting with Pal Torres. This is the most inspired I've seen Bustos all, all season. It just makes me realise if he played like this all season, we'd probably be doing a lot better. Sharp and Yenko scored. Barca are 1 0 up. It's not what we want to see. Don't let that make our performance slip. What a save by Bayern, dear. Oh, that's a poor one. That's a good save. It was a very poor tackle by us, but we've come out with it. Maya, Bravo, Bustos. This is some nice play. Bravo's not the man we really want going forward with the ball there, though. Fernandez puts the tackle in, then attacks Nudez. Just kicks it right in the shin. Maya gets the ball off of Jao Felix. Bustos on that one, Rafa Mir. Maya's still going. Go on. Bit there. Oh, the pass. The pass had to be better. Bruno, who's finally back from injury, is going to come on. Anagin for Bustos. And Williams comes off. Neves comes on. Anagin straight away. He's just holding off defenders. Gets tackled there. Neves is just the wrong side. How has he managed to get that far wide? Tadebo, please block. Oh, I don't like that one. We got exposed fully at the back. Debo did slide, try and get the block in, but he's bent it around really well. Nothing really Bayern there can do. It's a good goal. We need these changes to make the impact desired. That's not an impact. That's definitely not an impact. Go on, Bruno. Get back at him. Oh. Debo. Good little ball. Neves. Bruno Guimaraes. Plays that in. Oh, what an interception. Tadebo won that one. Oh my god, just wake up. React to the ball. Zalewski. In the box. Darwin Nunes. What a save. Bay in there. We're holding on again. We're in such good control of this game. Don't score. What a block. Bay in there's picked that up. Good tackle, Tadebo. Plays it up for Neves to run on to. Look at the space down his side. Jao Mario, please run. You've got an open grass in front of you. Jao Mario plays it back. Oh, Tar. He's put the foot out. It's a good interception. We should have done so much better with like a 5v3 there. Jao Mario turns past him though. 
Plate to Martin. Anagin. Anagin plays in Bruno. Go on, Bruno. Oh, what a save. Anagin, please get that. Oh, that was a chance. Oh, it's over. It's over. We can't win the league with Batiste. A 2-2 draw against Atletico Madrid. Which is a good result. But it just needed to be more. Barcelona drew with Levante as well. So even then that wasn't enough for us. We're going to end the season and our time at Batiste. With a sim against Ibar. With the first team. Let's see how they get on. 2-1. Rafamir gets a goal. And so does Fernandez. But that's it from us with Batiste. Let's wrap this up. I am back and let's get on with the season breakdown. Probably the Real Batiste breakdown. So, we did finish third in La Liga. We beat off Real Madrid, but we did come behind both Atletico and Barca. Our record was 24 wins, 8 draws, 6 losses. If those two losses just turned into wins, at least would have been level on points. But that's by the by. We did win the Copa de España. We beat Barcelona 2-0 in the very last episode. Conference League was won by Lyon. Europa League won by Barcelona. And Champions League won by Real Madrid, who did beat Arsenal 2-1 in the final. The team that did knock us out back in the round of 16. But enough about them. Let's move on to the players and the stats. So, the highest appearance maker... No doubt, Alte Bayende, 52 appearances, 18 clean sheets, very, very good goalkeeper, highly recommend him for your own career modes. In terms of goal scored, Cardenas wins that one, 23 goals, 40 games, we missed him when he got injured towards the end of the season, but what a signing he has been. Assists, Rafa Mir gets that, 12 assists. Just beating Nico Williams, had a very good season, 13 goals, 11 assists. He went a bit under the radar, to be honest. But that does bring us on to the highest average rating, and that is Cardenas this season on a 7.4. So fair play, Cardenas, you've won this one. Still not up there with the likes of Makoko, Ile, and even Delort when we were at Nice in that second season. But not a bad effort by the youngster. You won't be surprised to hear me say he has gone down as my favourite player of the season. He wins that award quite easily this year. Rafa Mir has won it the previous two years, but Cardenas sweeps it this time. Honourable mentions, obviously Rafa Mir, still amazing. Only dropped by one rated overall. 22 goals, 12 assists, all competitions. Very, very good. Nico Williams, also on there. Very under the radar first season, but 13 goals, 11 assists is nothing to be frowned upon. Martin should really be an honourable mention because as a backup, fourth choice striker, he's just very good. The big one though, Jao Mario, is when he didn't play, we missed him big time. He was so crucial for us in this formation, having a defensive right midfielder who's got pace for days. Absolutely brilliant. If you're interested in any of the development, I'll scroll through this page quickly. I'll highlight a few players like Alonso, like Soto, who have gone up. A lot of these players, maybe we take a look at when we move teams next season. But all of these players have played a very, very good season. And I think it's fair to say we will miss this team. But I think we've got to move on, take on the Premier League whilst we still can. Manuel Carrasco up to a 77 finally as well. Maybe he's someone we bring with us. There's just a load of these players who are slowly but surely becoming very, very good. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this. It's it's going to be a challenge. Put your comments down below. Who do you think we'll be at next season? We can't go to the league winners, but we'll see what other jobs we can get offered. So Manchester City and Wolves are out of a question. That's a weird one. But Chelsea, West Ham, Liverpool, Man U, Brighton, Arsenal, Spurs. It's a very different looking Premier League. But that is the league nonetheless that we will be joining. Put your comments below. Who do you think we'll be at? And on Thursday evening, you will find out the new team and the transfers that have gone alongside it. 
I hope you have enjoyed this stint at Batiste. It's not been as successful as I'd had hoped it to have been, but I think it is time we move on for the sake of the series. I've enjoyed it. I hope you have. If you have enjoyed like, the video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Boing!